Hello friends, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Sumit and in this tutorial I will be going to demonstrate you how to calculate the growth percentage using TIPCO Spotfire. So let's understand the requirement first. So as you can see here, that's the data set I have been loaded. Uh, this is for 2013 year for all the 12 months and at the above chart you can see I will be getting the growth in sales by month month wise month wise growth basically that whether we are getting whether we are gaining or whether we are losing or we are making profit or we are making loss every month with respective to the previous month or as respective to the previous month so here you can see in the in the first month of 2013, I have made a total sale of 142 and then in the second month of 2013, the sale was 120. So the sale has been dropped by, dropped down by 15%. Again, in the third month of 2013, it's again 160. So it, it has grown up up to 33%. So that's how we would be calculating. And at the end, we would be getting that either we are making profit or we are making loss. So by this, we will be cal calculating the growth percentage month wise. And also, I have applied a filter here. This is only for one year. If I, if I would like to look for other respective years, I can apply filter and I can make changes into it. I can select the years and make selections into it. So I can apply filter and get the output of desired year. So let's scratch it. Let's build it from the scratch. So I'm going to load, I'm going to close this. So let me save this, okay. And I save it on my desktop. It's in a DXP format file. And I'm going to start, uh, close it and load data set, data set again. Click on add data table, file, company sales. We had four consecutive columns, year, month, product and sales. Okay. Okay. So data will get loaded into TIPCO Spotfire. And then I simply click on bar chart to create a visualization. So I click on bar and first i change it to months that's fine and here sales and because it is showing all the months of all the years so i apply a filter and i would like to show only for the month 2013 and i'm going to make some changes into it for example i want to show the values on data point onto it so i say properties labels all and complete bar we can go display the values into bar segments as well. I'll display on complete bar. Close. Now I would like to calculate the growth percentage. So for this, first I create a duplicate visualization and right click properties and I set the title as growth percent sales wise oh, growth percent sale per month and close it so for calculating the growth percentage month wise i right click on y axis and click on custom expression i'm going to add my own custom expression Write sum of sales minus or I use here over function. So I write sum of sales over previous axis dot x and I copy this copy minus sum of sales and this one two so one 
2 and I would like to add the complete expression in single. So basically this over will be getting, will be extracting the previous value. So it will be subtracting from the total sale and then I will divide it by sum of sales till excess x. So this would be the expression to calculate the growth percentage from the previous month and I give here percent growth okay so you can see here the percentage is coming in negative and positive so in the in a respective month if the growth is in positive it will appear in positive side else it will display in the negative side but it's coming in some other format so I'll, I'll do some customization formatting and value access percent growth display in percentage zero decimals and I'll say horizontal bars I would like to apply the color as well so go for color and in color based color based on sales according to sales and also I'm going to add points into it so if the sales is between 170 to 100 170 to 100 200 so this would be marked in red color if it is between 100 to 50 it would be marked in this color and if it is uh, 50 to minimum is 20 so this would be marked in yellow color and blue. so you can see the values uh, it shows the percentage it's not showing the percentage for the first month because there is no previous month for that particular month for the 2013 January there will be no previous month for that so this will be the starting so it will be taking it because we have added only one month here if one year for only one year if I add other year as well for example for 2014 and if I add 2013 in this case we will have the values then we have the values So like this, we can display the values. We can display the growth percentage sales per month using bar chart in TIBCO or Spotfire. So this will help us to analyze in which month we will be making profit and in which month we will be making loss. So we can analyze it that why we get, why we make loss in that particular month. So for next time, we will be aware of that. That's all in this video. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bisptrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on TIPCO Spotfire. You can connect with us for the customized training on TIPCO Spotfire. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.